Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my June book haul. We're doing surprisingly well, it's June the 12th, and I've only just got some books to show you guys. However, it was just my birthday, so there was that, and we also went charity shopping as well. Let's get started. I guess we'll start with the most obvious one. This is a, a box set of the Inspector Morse novels. It's actually still in the cellophane wrapping, and I got it from Oxfam for £6.99. And uh, yeah, I've already read and I already own all of the Morse books. But basically, I figure if I get this little box set for six ninety nine, you know, uh, and box sets go on top of my bookcase, which makes more space in my bookcase for other books without me needing to get a new bookcase. So that was the uh, uh, the logic there. But also, my uh, girlfriend has read. I don't know which one she's read actually, but she's got some of them, and she's not sure if she's got the full series. So I was like, well, if I get this, then I can give her whichever book she's missing and then the remaining ones I will sell on my little eBay bookstore so uh, which I'll link to below so yeah uh, yeah these are cool nice little find there and I've been seeing those around a lot but I've been waiting I don't know I guess until I saw a decent price like £6.99 I think that's like 50p per book so I couldn't really complain uh, then Bex got me this for my birthday so this is Bish Bash Bosh by Henry Firth and Ian Theesby This is actually the signed edition as well, uh, and it's got these bright green pages look And yes yeah, signed edition it has a couple of bonus recipes in this is a plant-based slash vegan cookbook So for example there we have peri peri protein lunchbox nice gravy and stuffing balls recipes there Henry's biryani with coriander chutney, and it's just a beautiful book cheeseburger dough balls chili jam there's some chili sauce recipes in here as well so uh, if you keep your eyes peeled on my reading vlogs I will be slowly but surely trying out all the recipes in this so this is a book that I was sent this is a bullseye 20 short stories by Yasutaka Tsutsui translated by Andrew Driver and for this thing I'm just gonna read you the blurb a new collection of stories by Yasutaka Tsutsui, award-winning author of works ranging from dark comedy and piercing satire to science fiction and surrealism. Tsutsui has continually challenged the purpose of literature and the relevance of social values and is recognised today as one of the key founders of Japanese postmodern science fiction. And he's won like a bunch of prizes and stuff as well. So I'm really excited about this one. This is uh, this one, again, it was, was sent to me. I, I get probably at least three or four requests per day to review some book or other and I very, very rarely respond to them but that one sort of cut through the noise and sounded fascinating so looking forward to that. Here we have a Charles Dickens anthology. This is actually uh, compiled by Kathleen Wood but it's specially commissioned by Rothman's Hallmark Filter Cigarettes. I used to smoke Rothman's about 15 years ago as well uh, because my my like an, uh, really, my first like serious girlfriend her parents used to smoke Rothmans, and they used to let me pinch some of their ciggies. So yeah, quite excited about that. Looking forward to reading more Dickens. And then we have just a few more charity shop finds. So we have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Uh, it says, we, we are liars. We are beautiful and privileged. We are cracked and broken. A tale of love and romance. A tale of tragedy. Which are lies, which is truth, you decide. But, um, I mean, it's not super long, and I know it was popular on BookTube, so I thought I'd give it a go. Here we have The Kraken Wakes by John Wyndham. So I read The Day of the Triffids uh, last month, I think, and I did enjoy it, so I thought I'd get some more Wyndham. The only problem with these books is, like, the super tiny print. So sometimes I read these, you know, before bed as opposed to as my main book just because I need to really concentrate on them, you know? Here we have Amsterdam by Ian McEwan. I've never read Ian McEwan before, so I thought it was about time I gave him a go. And again, this is another reasonably short one. My um, my pile of books to read before bed is getting massive. So I'm trying to only buy books that I think I'll, I'll want to read as a main book, you know. Uh, however, I did see that Sean the Book Maniac gave this one out of five stars and said that this is what happens when like middle-aged white men write books about women without <laughs> knowing anything about women. So... So yeah, this it might be terrible. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Here we have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I just know that a lot of people with similar tastes to me have liked Dark Matter. I think a lot of people are into Stephen King and stuff like that. Uh, are you happy in your life? Those are the last words Jason Desson hears before the masked abductor knocks him unconscious. Before he wakes to find himself strapped to a gurney surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits. Before the man he's never met smiles down at him and says, welcome back. In a world he's woken up to, Jason's life is not the one he knows. His wife is not his wife. His son was never born. And Jason is not an ordinary college physics professor. 
Yeah, that made me chuckle for some reason. Is it the is it this world or the others that's the dream? The answer lies in a journey more wondrous and horrifying than anything Jason could have imagined. So yeah, cool. And finally, we have the Ladybird Book of Mindfulness. I mean, I've just been slowly collecting these, you know. Uh, and this is by, presumably, yeah, J.A. Hazley and J.P. Morris, who normally do these ones. So, for example, we've got... Alison has been staring at this beautiful tree for five hours. She was meant to be in the office. Tomorrow, she will be fired. In this way, mindfulness will have solved her work-related stress. That sounds about right. I'll go through what was in that Colin Dexter in, in box as well. So we have uh, Last Buster Woodstock, Last Scene Wearing, The Silent World of Nicholas Quinn, Service of All the Dead, The Dead of Jericho, The Riddle of the Third Mile, The Secret of Annex 3, The Wench is Dead, The Jewel That Was Ours, The Way Through the Woods, The Daughters of Cain, Death is Now My Neighbour, and The Remorseful Day. So yeah. Alright, cool. Hello, I've got some stuff that came in the post. This is my uh, lock and key box set. So this is by Joe Hill and somebody Rodriguez, can't remember his name, and um, yeah this is, I got this with, uh, my mum basically got me a, a, an Amazon voucher for my birthday, and so I've been wanting to read this series for a while, so I put the voucher towards this and paid the rest. Uh, so yeah, Gabriel Rodriguez, written by Hill and featuring artwork from Gabriel Rodriguez, Lock and Key tells of Key House, an unlikely New England mansion with fantastic doors that transform all who dare to walk through them, and home to a hate-filled and relentless creature that will not rest until it forces open the most terrible door of them all. So yeah, very cool. So yeah, this is the box set of all six of the issues, and I've heard good things about this, and um... Basically, my, my other half is really into uh, graphic novels as well, and I got her into uh, Joe Hill, so I figured we should probably read this, because this was already on my list as well, so of like stuff that I wanted. So I thought if I get this, then we can both read it. So yeah, we might even do a combined review of it. I should point out as well, so this, uh, this includes uh, issue one, Lock and Key, Welcome to Lovecraft. Number two, Lock and Key, Head Games. Number three, Lock and Key, Crown of Shadows. Number four, Keys to the Kingdom. Number five, Clockworks. And number six, Alpha and Omega. So yeah, very cool. And then I got these in the post as well. Because um, I've been poor for a while. And then I finally got paid. So I bought some books. Because, you know... So this is The Children of Little Thwopping, uh, edited book by Ollie Jacobs, original book by Howard Williams, provided courtesy of the BPD, which uh, I believe will be explained by the story itself, and uh, yeah. But yeah, I've been slowly working my way through all of Ollie's, Ollie's books, so um, yeah, that's one of like three or four I have left to get to now. For Todd and Dane, Indy Read Along. What's this? This is I Could Pee On This and Other Poems by Cats by Francesco Marchiulianio. Uh Yeah, it's just literally dumb poems by cats. So, for example, tiny boxes, play and hide. Tiny boxes, squeeze inside. Tiny boxes, cozy here. Tiny boxes, pour in ear. Tiny boxes, stuck, stuck, stuck. Tiny boxes, little help. So, yeah. Kind of a gimmicky book, but it's been on my list for ages, so I thought I'd get to it. This is Alive at Work by Daniel M. Cable, the neuroscience of helping your people love what they do. And this is, again, I have a client who pays me to do sort of Sparknotes style summaries of business books. And this is one of the uh, business books that I will be getting to shortly. And this is... This is a Deep Cosmos by Project Kyle. So Project Kyle is a fellow booktuber and author and... I mean, look at this cover. This is psychedelic as all hell, which kind of fits in with this channel, really. Uh, he was talking about it the other day, and I thought it sounded interesting. He's also an interesting kind of chap. So again, this is another one I want to read for the indie read-along. I'm already liking the look of this. Very cool. I'll read you the blurb. Protect your sanity at all costs. These were the last words spoken to David, a young survivor of the Cosmic Five tragedy, before he found himself fleeing for his life and seeking refuge in a galaxy filled with danger, mystery and suspense. Hiding behind the mask of a nerdy space explorer, David recruits a young warrior woman and a self-obsessed space thug as crew members to join him on his galactic adventures, hoping to lay low to avoid any unwanted attention. 
But after the galaxy is threatened by a criminal mastermind with a lust for human life, David and his team must come out of the shadows and put an end to this menace before he can drive humanity to extinction. Can David and his companions survive the challenges that lie ahead, or will they crumble into the never-ending void of the deep cosmos? Cool. Yeah, check out Project Kyle on BookTube as well. But yeah, layout and everything looks nice too. I am... Uh it bodes well. He's, I just saw a thanks to his editor, which is also good. Always good when someone works with an editor. Yeah. Cool. My tripod has gone kind of wonky, but this is the best I can do. So, I've got a few parcels in the post. Alright, so here we have Agatha Christie Halloween Party. Quite excited about this one. Uh, yeah, I think it's Poirot and some other stuff. Tiny print, alas, but uh, I, will, I will have to suck it up. Here we have Agatha Christie Hickory Dickory Dock. Uh, Hercule Poirot, number 30. Slightly larger print, so that's good. Here we have Measure What Matters by John Dorr. So this is another one of the ones that I've got to write spark note style summary for one of my clients for. So, very cool. Alright, I better go before the battery dies. Bye-bye. This is exciting, because I think I know what this is. Well, this has come through from uh, Redbubble, and uh, this has been sent to me from Cam from Wolfshot Publishing. So thank you, Cam. Uh, Cam's got this this store basically with all this like bookish all these bookish goodies on there and uh, He did a video about it a while ago, and I thought the designs looked awesome. I'll uh, link to it below and um, Yeah, so he kind of knew that I wanted one of these things and uh, Stop pinging computer and so he knew that I like really like the designs and there was one in particular I had my eye on and so he offered to send me one and It's got a little tiny clothes peg on it. That's like the first thing that I noticed <laughs> This is really good quality, actually. Look at it. Okay. So we've got cold wash only, don't tumble dry, don't iron print, don't slap pandas. That's one hell of a label. <laughs> so, and it came with this little peg. Look. Welcome to your splendid new body covering, created just for you by an independent artist and carefully printed by happy people in matching socks. Am I wearing matching socks? I'm wearing matching socks today, and this is a big thing. It's only because they're a new pair of matching socks. What's not to love? If you have any issues at all, please type this into your nearest internet device. Uh, and they've got a returns address, and we'll be happy to help you out. Okay. That is banging. Look at it. That's really cool. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to try this on. I'm going to try this on. I like this thing. This is cool. There we go. It's got like a pretty weird sleeve length, which I guess is because of the type of top it is, and because also because I got a large. But um, I don't know. I quite like that. It's like in between like a short sleeve and a long sleeve, so uh, actually quite handy if I need to. Maybe that's why to like cover up your tattoos. So uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? It's super comfy as well. Like I have really sensitive skin and actually so as I was opening this I had this horrible thought I was like if it's like heavy cotton then Basically my like I start getting rashes and stuff and it's just super uncomfortable to wear. I like this actually. Um, yeah I was also thinking this would make a cool tattoo as well. I'm surprised Cam hasn't already got it But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm well happy with this. This is this is comfortable. I'm gonna wear this like in videos for the foreseeable future now and I will uh, link below to the store where you can get one of these and also like one of like five other designs and thank you Cam for sending this. Hello, only two books today so I didn't uh, set up all the lights and stuff. Also I'm on low battery so I just want to open these and see what they are. So we have this one here. Well, this is two. This is Film It Cuts Title Pending by Ollie Jacobs and this Abstract Mental Thing by Ryan A. Loera who is a uh, Madman Reads and Rocks on BookTube. And these are like kind of poetry, I suppose, like free verse poetry almost, um, prose poetry, I guess. But I really like his poetry as well. And to be honest, I just bought this seeing that he'd written it. So why does my computer keep pinging at me and I don't want to pause it because, oh dear, okay, we're going to mute the volume here. Okay, all right, keep going. I'm just going to keep going because low battery is still blinking at me. Uh, here we have, who is this? This is The Diabolical Club by Stephen Colgan. Well, this is published by Unbound and uh, I am one of the supporters, so my name is here. 
He wrote a book called A Murder to Die For, which I previously reviewed as well, so I'll link to you below, and he's a local High Wycombe author. And I am super excited to get to this. I pre-ordered it and stuff, so very cool. All right. Okay, I have some parcels. This is coming very fancy Amazon Prime wrapping. What, what is this? This is In Real Life by Neve Shulman. Love lies and identity in the digital age. And he's the guy who hosted uh, Catfish. You may recognize his uh, face. And yeah, this is his book. I just thought it sounded interesting, so I thought I'd get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, he brings his expertise to the page, sharing insider secrets about what motivates catfish, why people fall for catfish, how you can avoid being deceived, rules for dating, both online and off, and some other stuff as well. And uh, as you can see, we look very similar. <laughs> this is a thick old... Jesus Christ. This is Feed by Mira Grant. Uh, this is a zombie novel, I believe. Is she the one who's also Sean and Maguire, Maguire maybe? This is a lot longer than I thought, and also in pretty shocking... I don't want to say shocking, but shoddy condition. Can I take it out of the library binding? I don't want the library binding. Alright, well that's slightly better. And that, I'll squash this a bit and then, uh, yeah, we'll be alright. South Elmsley Library from Pontefract. There we go. Someone's clearly stolen this from the library. And <laughs> Anyway. Uh, and then we have this. On Fire at Work, How Great Companies Ignite Passion in Their People Without Burning Them Out uh, by Eric Chester. And this is another one of the books that I will be kind of uh, doing a Sparknote style summary for a client on. So yeah. And on that note, actually, it's the end of the month, pretty much. I mean, I'm, I'm going to wait for a couple of days as well, so uh, I won't be here anymore in June. So we might as well wrap it up. So on that note, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. If you want to buddy read any of these, let me know. And if I haven't already read them, we can potentially buddy read them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.